Lord, you really are the, um, the most amazing God. We love your heart. We love who you are. We love your generosity. We love your humor. We love your laughter. We love your joy. You are the most incredibly joyful person. And we love who you are in your peace, in your rest, in your love, in your grace, in your mercy, in your kindness, in your faithfulness. We love who you are. And we love the way that you come and touch us. And we love the way that you just steal into our hearts and you fill our hearts with your presence and right now Father my request is that those of us who are struggling to come to grips with this time in our head I just ask for favor to come upon us that we may just relax into a place of rest and allow our heart just to reach out to you just like we did on the day that we became Christians just on the day when salvation came into our hearts into our lives we responded to you in heart we didn't think our way into the gospel we didn't think our way into salvation we felt our way into an experience because you touched our heart you created a longing in our heart and we found our heart responding to you. So right now I pray that you would just return us to that heart place. So that we may experience you. And yes, so that we may feel your presence. Because your presence is tangible. It's real. So I ask you to come and touch every one of us. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome. Come and do what you do best. Come and touch our hearts. Move amongst us. Come and breathe on us. And let the words that you speak this evening, could you speak them directly into our heart and cause us to have an experience of your grace and your goodness that would overwhelm us again that we may know you that we may know you in spirit and in truth and we ask that in Jesus name sense is going to happen this evening. We are about to step into the place of God's indulgence. When we talk about God's indulgence, we talk about nothing else than the Father choosing to please Himself. And through Scripture, you see the times when God pleased Himself and did certain things. Like, for example, it pleased Him to bruise Jesus on our behalf. The Bible is full of instances of God acting out and working out His own passions, His own desires. He indulges Himself. And this evening I really sense in my heart that the Lord is here to please Himself. And in some mysterious way we will be pleased we will meet his desire this evening and his desire will touch us, it will change us, it will transform us. God's indulgence is where we learn to enjoy the pleasure of his favor. That he would become intimately involved in placing particular favor on our lives. That he intends to satisfy a desire in his heart to bestow blessing 
that is significantly above and beyond our ability to even conceive of it. So I'm expecting some remarkable things to happen during this time in your heart. So my request, beloved, is open up your heart to the Lord and rest in Him and relax in Him. But don't let anything around you put you off this moment of intimacy. Because I believe that the Lord wants to speak to you and that He intends to declare and demonstrate His desire to enjoy blessing you for all He is worth. That heaven would come to earth through the absolute intentionality of God. And that He would satisfy Himself and be blessed by what He does for us. Okay. So, here we go. Says the Lord, it is my intention to personalize my grace in such a way that you are empowered in specific areas of your life so that rapid growth becomes the norm for you in this season of acceleration. And I give you favor so that you may know that you have special consideration for my intentional desire to take place, even in the ordinary things of your life. I'm indulging myself so that you will become highly confident towards me. So beloved, I say to you, look to me. Look to me. Look to me. I have given you permission to dream and to make requests for specific issues that you have, problems, difficulties, situations and circumstances. Look to me. Favor is now being actively promoted by the Holy Spirit in your life. And know this, beloved, it will be equally contested by the enemy. Favor is permission to ask, to seek, to knock in the sure and certain knowledge that I will say yes to you. For everything in Christ Jesus is yes and amen in my heart. So I'm teaching you to make requests in such a way that you will hear the yes that's in my heart to yours. Your life, therefore, is about getting to yes. I will take your favor into a high and a deep place of confidence in my goodness so that a greater faith anointing begins to grow in you. And in this place of my indulgence, I will teach you how to stand in the place of my desire. I want you to feel me, beloved. I want you to feel my intentionality coming into your life in a fresh way. That you may be made fresh. That you will be refreshed. That you will remain fresh. <laughs>